Hey guys, it's chapel time. Now this week we're going to talk about some of the events that happened right before Easter. Okay, so here we go. The Last Supper. Jesus and his disciples walked to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover. Well, what is Passover? Do you guys remember the story when God rescued the Israelites from Egypt by sending the frogs and the plagues and all the different things that happened when Moses was with? That is Passover, and we celebrate that every year. So, ever since that day, Israelites have celebrated Passover with a special meal, just like the one they had the night when Egypt, in Egypt many years ago. So Jesus and his disciples traveled to Jerusalem for Passover. Lots of other people came too, and many of them had heard stories about Jesus. As Jesus rode into Jerusalem on donkeys, a big crowd of people came out to meet him. They laid down palm branches in front of him, which was a sign of royalty. And they shouted, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of David. David. It was like a parade for kings. They were waving their palm branches around and just celebrated Jesus coming into the town. So this made the Pharisees and the Sadducees very nervous. So they were trying to figure out what they could do because they didn't really want Jesus around. They thought that he was more important than they, than they were and they wanted to be the most important people. And that's not the way it should be. Jesus should always be the most important person. So Jesus had one of his disciples turn against him by helping the Pharisees and the Sadducees arrest him and take him away. But before that happened, Jesus had a special dinner with everybody. It's called the Last Supper. And Jesus picked up some bread and he said, this is my body, which is given for you. After that, he picked up his cup and he said, this cup is the new covenant of my blood poured out for you. Well, what's a covenant? A covenant's just another word for promise. Now the disciples were confused because it sounded like Jesus was saying God was making a new promise, a new way to bless them and save them. And it had something to do with Jesus's blood and body. It had something to do with Jesus dying. This made them very nervous and sad. Well, the disciples couldn't believe their ears. What Jesus was saying was that he is the new Passover lamb, that he was going to die and save them. But how could Jesus be king if he isn't even alive anymore? Everyone was so confused. After dinner, Jesus went to the garden to pray. He knew what he had to do next, and he knew it wasn't going to be easy. When he finished praying, Jesus turned to his friends and said, the hour has come. And just at that moment, his disciple Judas walked into the garden, leading a group of soldiers sent by the Sadducees to arrest him. Now, next week when you guys have chapel, you're going to learn all about Jesus' death and what happened at Easter and how he rose again, which is why we celebrate Easter. It's such an amazing day. Okay, you guys, get your chapel hands ready and let's do our prayer. Dear God, Thank you for today. Thank you for always being with us no matter what. Thank you for having the Last Supper with all of your disciples and doing the things that you knew you had to do just for us. We love you. Amen. Okay, you guys, have a great week. Bye.